loves welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna be doing our monthly favorites I know that this is super late into the month I'm so sorry I always forget to come out with my monthly favorites and then I remember and I kind of freak out because I like them to either be at the very end of the month or the very beginning of the following month so I'm sorry that this month is late I was supposed to film this last week but once I remembered I'm like okay I can't skip over it because there are a lot of things that I want to show you guys and the first thing that I want to do is announce the winner to the giveaway that I had in last month's monthly favorites I gave away a naked three palette the pink one the ones that I guess they're all like rose gold type of shades and I wanted to announce the winner. I have her written down. Her name is Downs Angel. So thank you all so much for entering. Downs Angel, make sure to email me at mommychula8153 at yahoo.com with your full name and your shipping address. And I will be asking you a question just to make sure that it's not a random person sending me their information. I am going to make sure that it is you that is really contacting me. So um, just be prepared for that if you're gonna try and pull a fast one. Not you, Downs Angel, but if someone else is gonna email me pretending to be her if that makes any type of sense. Congratulations, by the way. <laughs> anyway, next I wanna do a little bit of a fitness section in my monthly favorites. I'm gonna show you guys a drink that I've been loving, a snack that I have been loving, and a little bit of the workout clothes that I've been using. So, protein shakes, let's talk about that. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys asking what type of protein shakes that I drink. If you guys want me to do a full video just showing you guys all the drinks that I like, how I mix them, what they taste like, my favorite flavors, I can definitely do that. A lot of you guys know that I have been getting into protein drinks a lot because I did lose about 15 pounds that I am trying to gain back and for me, protein shakes are a way for me to get extra calories in. Now, protein shakes are definitely not only for people that are trying to gain weight, they can also be a meal replacement, they give you energy, and you can also lose weight through protein shakes. So it can go either way. So I do have a favorite at the moment, and I actually picked these up from Whole Foods, but I believe, I know that they sell them online as well and a lot of other grocery stores. I just get mine from Whole Foods. Um, I think the website will probably list other places that you can get them, and you can get them off Amazon as well. This is what they look like, and they are from a brand called Organic Valley. I have two flavors right here, the dark chocolate and the vanilla bean. And a lot of times when I'm home, I will actually mix my protein shakes, but when I'm on the go and I really don't have time in the morning and I still want one, I will just grab one of these and run out of the door with it. So it's very, very convenient. These are also only $2.89 a bottle. And the reason why I really love this brand is because they are organic. There are some I really don't want to put brands out there, but I'm just gonna say it like Special K. The Special K protein drinks will have so many ingredients. I'm talking 40 plus ingredients and all these weird chemicals in their milk. This is organic, so you're definitely not gonna see all of those ingredients. And also, I wanna taste this one right now. Also, I wanna mention that I am lactose intolerant. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but basically I can't have too much dairy and I can't really drink whole milk. Um, these are lactose free and gluten free, so I don't have that problem. I don't feel sick after these. And this is my favorite one, chocolate. I don't know why with protein drinks, I always like chocolate flavor. I like the vanilla bean one too, but I think chocolate is definitely my favorite. One more sip. <laughs> it kind of just tastes like chocolate milk. It tastes like a chocolate milkshake. You don't really taste that bitter flavor that sometimes you can get in chocolate drinks. For example, my muscle milk that I drink, it has like a bitter aftertaste. So this is definitely one of my new favorites. I love these. I have about, <laughs> I want to say 25 of them in my refrigerator right now. And then a snack. I don't really want to pack on weight, like unhealthy fat. Um, but I love chips. I have, I have the most hard, like I have a sweet tooth and a salty tooth because I love both. So I try to satisfy them, but I, I don't want to put like unhealthy, greasy fat in my body. Um, and this helps kill one of my cravings when I really want chips. These are the Nature's Promise Natural Vegetable Sticks. And they basically have a potato, tomato, and spinach puree. And they are shaped in these little like french fry looking things and are known found hold on it's really rude to eat on camera i'm sorry let me finish this all right i know that tomato and spinach kind of sounds like a weird flavor for chips or for these little fries but i'm telling you guys that they are so good i picked these up at stop and shop which is my local supermarket but i know that it, i i don't know if you guys know this but i actually used to work at costco's back in the day and i always used to see people buying these not this brand but they looked exactly like these 
I used to be one of those demo people at Costco's that, you know, we, we demonstrated the products or the food and stuff for people to come and get samples. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and I would always see in people's carts that they had these things. So to be 100% honest with you guys, one day after work, I just went and purchased them because I'm like, I see a lot of people with those in their carts. So I picked it up, I fell in love with them. I don't have a Costco's membership right now and I'm not going to get it just to go and get these. So I picked these up at Stop and Shop. They're the same exact thing and they are bomb.com. There was one more food item that I wanted to show you guys. It's in my refrigerator right now. All my lighting and everything is set up so I don't want to step away from the camera. I will insert a picture of it here right now though. This is some this is not even a healthy snack though, but this is something that you guys suggested to me. I don't know if it was in a vlog or somewhere where I mentioned that when I go to um, Subway that I love to get the Chipotle sauce and a lot of you guys told me that um, Kraft I don't even remember what brand it was. I will show you guys a picture and put an annotation, but um, there's a Chipotle mayo that you can buy in the store. And I had no idea that that existed. I got that recommendation from you guys and I found it. I picked it up, I think at Target, and I love it. More than half of the bottle is gone. I have sandwiches almost every single day um, and I have just been putting that on like my ham and cheese and it just it gives a little kick of spice a little bit of flavor I don't like regular mayo at all so the chipotle mayo is amazing and I wanted to thank you guys for suggesting that to me because I love it alright so some of you guys have been saying that I have not been showing my Fabletics um, orders lately so I did want to show them to you guys I do get one credit every single month so I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up these are kind of like workout clothes and I'm not working out right now to be 100% honest with you guys I use these more as pajamas or like lounging around the house on weekends and stuff I do have to get back into exercising but the thing is I feel like I want to pack on a little bit of weight first before I work out and kind of sculpt it and shape it and put it in place so um, I did get this tank top right here which is a lot brighter than it's coming across on camera it's like a coral color this is the back and one thing that I love about all the just fab or did I say just fab? The Fabletics pieces is that everything has padding so you don't have to pair a bra underneath. They're very sturdy. I just love the material. So I got these matching yoga pants to go with it and they just have that same coral color going all the way down. Um, then I also picked up this set right here. This is like a workout top but this one is a thicker material so if you kind of want to sweat it out and it has the right type of absorbent material. I just love all the Fabletics. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, a lot of times I will actually wear it as real clothes. It's just a very, very good quality. And I got these matching black pants, which are just pretty basic yoga pants. I have about three or four pairs of these, so I ordered that one last month. And then the month before, I got this set right here. This is another tank top. This one is a pink color. Look how cute the back is. And like the inside, I thought that was adorable. And it kind of drapes in the back. This one is a lot looser, and then I got a pair of the black pants to go with it. These are different though. These are a completely different material, and they kind of cinch down at the bottom of the ankle. So I love these. I do order something every single month along with my Just Fab shoes. Just Fab and Fabletics are kind of like sister companies, so I order from each one every single month. Definitely let me know if you guys want me to continue to show you my picks. Now I'm going to move on to the makeup, and the first item that I want to start off with is a very, very special item because my friend Wendy, or Wing, and she goes here on YouTube as Diva Makeup Queen, started her own makeup line, which I feel is absolutely amazing. I love when I see YouTubers kind of branch off into businesses, and it's just, it's very inspirational. And this is a very good friend of mine. So I have an example or a, a version or an actual one of her palettes right here. And let me see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit. That's actually a picture of her. I think that that is so adorable. This is what the back looks like right here. Obviously, we're from New York, so she has that whole um, scenery right there with actual pictures of her. I love the packaging. And I'm going to show you guys the palette. Here are what the actual eyeshadows look like. And I am just so, so proud of her. I wanted to give her a little bit of a shout out. I will have all her information down below. She's actually, let me zoom back out. <laughs> she is having a launch party for this product the same day as iMats, right after iMats. And um, I'm not sure if this video is gonna go up before iMats, but if you are going to New York City iMats and you would like to attend that party, I will also have the details down below. Again, I'm gonna try and get this video out, be video out before iMats. Um, 
um, so you guys can have that information because I will be at that party and I would love to meet you guys. And yes, I will be at IMATS as well. All right, a couple of more makeup products that I do want to talk about right here okay so if you guys missed out on my updated foundation tutorial definitely go and check it out the foundation that i'm wearing right now is the covergirl aqua smooth i have gone back to this baby and i love it absolutely so much there are so many foundations that I have tried high-end drugstore and nothing covers like this i did an acne coverage foundation routine where i took off all my makeup and i show you guys up close and personal what my skin looked like. It was an extremely difficult video for me to film and for me to put it up on my Instagram because you know I have a lot of friends, like real life friends um, that also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and they're like, wow, I didn't know that your skin looked like that. So it's really putting myself out there. But um, you guys, it was such an amazing response from you guys that I don't even care. I don't even care if people know that's what my skin really looks like. It's temporary anyway. I'm going in three days for my Accutane. I can't wait. But anyway, if you guys did not see that video, I will post it down below. And this is the amazing foundation that I have been loving because it basically like saved my life. And then a blush that I have been really loving lately is by Milani and it is called Luminoso. I'm wearing it right now. And when I wear this, I actually don't wear a highlighter on top because it gives a beautiful sheen. It's very similar to the CoverGirl Aqua, no, the CoverGirl cheekers that i'm always talking about in pink silk but this one is a peachy version i love this i always see a lot of girls oh my god i always see a lot of girls talk about this on youtube and i definitely see why i don't know if you guys will be able to see a swatch probably not but take my word it's gorgeous and to finish this video off i totally just spit when i said that i want to talk about the lip combo that i've been using lately because i've been getting a lot of questions from you guys i was really into a pink lip kick i was using my anastasia beverly hills pink or pure Hollywood um, lip liquid lipstick like every single day and then I don't know like I kind of am in a peachy nude brownie kick right now I don't know why so that's what I've been wearing lately and what I've been using to achieve that look is a matte bold boldly bare lip pencil I really love this color it's kind of like it's a nude color, but it almost it actually 100% matches what I'm going to show you guys next. It has like an orangey, peachy undertone to it. And then what I've been applying on top of that is NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. I love this stuff, and you guys are going to see the colors are very, very similar. So I put that right on top. It dries to a really nice matte finish. And then when I need a little bit of moisture on top, I let this set because I want that matte lip color to lock in. And then once that sets, just over the top, I apply this Baby Lips Doctor Rescue in the shade, I believe it's Coral Craze. It was on the packaging, so I don't know now. And this is what it looks like. It's just a coral color, but to be 100% honest, it comes out pretty much clear. You guys can even see, like, there's no color. It's pretty much clear. And I just love that these have menthol in them, so they give, like, a really minty um, flavor and, like, scent to your lips. So I really like that. And I wanted to ask you guys since... And I'm so sorry if I keep bringing up the Accutane stuff. It's just, like, I'm so excited. Um, but I know my lips are going to dry out, like... OD. It's going to be insane. Like my doctor prepared me. Everything is going to be dry, but the lips really get it bad. So I did want to ask you guys for like your number one favorite lip balm or like an overnight treatment or a mask or something that really helps dry cracked bleeding lips because I already have a problem with that. Um, I have big lips. I used to be <laughs> made fun of back in the day in high school because of it or not really made fun of, but you know, it was like, whatever. Um, Okay, my point is that my lips already, like they bleed when I wake up and they're cracked and chapped. I know it sounds disgusting, but I know it's gonna get a lot worse. So if you guys have anything that you would like to recommend me from the drugstore or Sephora, anywhere, definitely let me know. Thank you guys all so much for watching this month monthly favorites. I'm sorry that this video was so long, but you guys know that my monthly favorites normally are. And I'm sorry that my nails look very, very ratchet, but I actually have not painted them for a month because I've been using my OPI Nail Envy to really grow them out. The only thing that I don't like about that is that it gives them a yellow tint and I hate that so I'm embarrassed and I'm kind of hiding them right now but I actually have a nail appointment tomorrow I think I'm gonna get them done white and um, yeah I'm excited for that so thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video Mwah. love you bye subscribe to my vlog channel my second channel please it's on and popping over there love you Mwah. bye